All right, what's happening, Ranger Nation? Welcome back to Power Rangers Legacy Wars on K-Wings Let's Plays. And tonight, we're going to do our best to try to unlock Scorpina. Maybe get some matches with you guys, if it doesn't get too late. And uh, then I've got a long night ahead of me, because apparently, for the Kate Bishop DLC to work properly, you got to grind. A lot. So, not, not a happy camper. Uh, just hoping to have our Kate Bishop stuff uh, ready, and it will be ready, but I have to be up all night grinding. So that's that's going to be awesome, as you can tell from the sound of my voice. But anyway, this is Power Rangers. Uh, let's get to it. So <laughs> uh, I'm pretty sure Scorpina is a epic, and we've got 5,000 gems to do this. And, uh, well, let's see what our, uh, our odds are. So it looks like 75% off for the first one. 50% off for the second roll, two, uh, two Scorpinas for three, three for four, five nothing, six nothing, seven, two more shards, nothing for eight, nothing for nine, nothing for ten, uh, after eleven you get two more shards, so I mean... Ooh, this is going to be interesting. I don't know if 5,000 shards is going to be enough. We're going to try. We're going to try. I know, Zelda. Yep. No, 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 no. You're going to knock the cell phone out of my hand. So, um, epics can be a kind of a pain in the butt to unlock. So, um, just like legendaries. Let's, let's, uh, give it a shot. And hopefully, uh, volume levels are really good. Easy, kitten. You good girl. Wait, 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 wait. Did we just... Did we just get a shard and I wasn't paying attention? Did we get one already? No. Did we already get one? Scorpina. Yes! We have one shard for Scorpina. Cool. Okay, so already one shard. Nice. Audio level's good? Alright, cool. You shouldn't have to grind for her story? Well, uh, apparently I have to grind. I'm just very annoyed. My attack power is not level... 30 or whatever, it's like... 15. Super annoying. But I don't want to talk about it right now. <laughs> gonna gonna make me rant about the Avengers game, because everybody already knows how I feel about the Avengers game. Alright, so we've got uh, two shards for Scorpina so far. Okay. Maybe it's not going to be such a chore to unlock her after all. Play on challenge one. Um, I might do that then. I'm gonna lower the challenge, because I really don't want to spend my night grinding. I really don't. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. Whoa! Alright, so we got four of ten. Really? Huh. Might actually have some shards left over for, uh... Next month. We have four already? How much have I spent? I've got 5,147 gems left, so how many gems did I spend? Alright, let's see if we continue our lucky streak with Scorpina. Holy cow, what? Okay then. No way, are you guys seeing this? Is everybody seeing this right now? Are we gonna lock her within like 10 minutes of the stream? No freaking way! Okay. You know what? That's cool.
<laughs> Whoa. Oh, wow. This is... Maybe you guys should wait until Saturday to try to unlock the new Legacy Wars characters because... I've almost unlocked mine already. You can't. You already took your medicine. You have to you have to wait at least an hour. You can bring your melatonin up with you, but don't take it yet. It'll interact with your blood pressure medicine. The doctors. CVS pharmacy. Well, I've called them and asked them. Scorpion unlocked! What? Already? I don't know. I'd have the devil's luck tonight, I guess. I don't know. It's a saying, honey. Night, hun. Wow. So we have 3,000 gems left. And uh, let's look at the... Uh, so buy one, 75% off Scorpina leader. Buy two, 50% off Scorpina leader. Ooh, the assist is going to be hard. Until you get to step five. All right, let's go. I know, right? I already unlocked her. It's crazy. I think it's crazy. Wait, was that a... No, that's the leader class still. Alright, just continuing on. And on, and on, and on. And on. And on. Dang. So, she's going to be at least a level 2 then, I guess? I don't know. Oh, and if you guys are concerned about the low views on the channel, we were purged from the search engine completely. So, uh, most searches for our videos on like new things like Power Rangers or Hyrule Warriors, we're on page like 26 of YouTube after 12 hours, so... Um, without the notifications, it's impossible to reach you guys. The channel's just in bad shape. Um, the hacking basically killed it. So, sorry about that. Also, our partnership with Enway isn't what it was anymore because there's, like I said, there's new people there. Uh, the previous community manager got promoted and the new person doesn't really go out of his way to do a lot of social media love. Except for people he really knows. And since I've just met the guy, it's probably going to be months before... Uh, we start getting plugged by Enway and uh, Hasbro again because there's all new people got to start all over again <laughs> And the best way to do that is conventions and well, there's no conventions. So yep Fun times But I'm still myth from the Avengers, so that's why I'm a little grumpy Although I think Are we on the last what role are we on now? What role is this? Eh. Big hands, tiny screen. Come on! Stupid. Alright, so you 65% chance. Cool. What one are we on? Oh, so we're gonna unlock her, uh... Her little person now. For 300, that'll leave us with 300 gems for next time. Or 3,000 gems to build up for next time. And that's going to do it. Give me my assist. Give it to me. I don't really care about that. I want the other one. Yeah, there we go. Unlocked. Boom! Scorpina is done. So how many gems did that come out to? Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. Oh, I was wrong. So we've got 2,897? Or wait, is that a 6? No, that's an 8. 
So we have almost 3,000 gems left for next month for the next new character. Still say, Scorpion is a weird character to have uh, in December, but okay. I would think like a, a Christmas Ranger scheme or something like that would be more fun, but what ifs? Scorpina! Unlocked! After... That's a new record! 12 minutes! 12 minutes for an epic! Sweet! I'll take that. I'll take 12 for an epic. Wait, they raised it to 40? I thought it was 20 for level 2. Oh well. well I'm, not, I'm not spending my money on that. Got the character. Now time to show her off. Sign... And uh, we're going to put Goldar in the background because that's his wifey. Or his, you know, Lammy's Goldar's wife in uh, Super Sentai. Or Grizz, Grizzos, Grizzos, or, I can never say his name. Grizz. Yeah, Grizzos are supposed to be like Grizzly or something. And we'll do Pumpkin Rap. All monsters, look at that. Pretty dope. I like that. Alright, Scorpina is a vicious, fierce, and unmerciful servant of Rita, as well as one of the few enemies that can confront the five rangers alone. She's often seen fighting alongside Goldar, the trans and she transforms herself into a giant scorpion with an electric tail and claw in place of her hand to fight the rangers' megazord. And then she just disappears from the show. Because they ran out of stock footage. <laughs> That's the reason why she was gone. Um, and they uh, they got the Goldar suit for the show. And they didn't want to pay an actress to play um, Scorpina. Other than when Sabrina Liu, the second live action actress, to play uh, Scorpina for Mighty Morphin. The end of season two, when Adam, Aisha, and Rocky were around. Hmm. Sabrina Liu actually sounded pretty good as uh, Scorpina. She almost looked like her too, but the costume that they were using for um, Scorpina in Season 2 just didn't look very good. Very low budget. Super low budget. Let's see, what other things about Scorpina do I know? It's possible she was destroyed by Zordon's wave, but uh, not likely because... She in terms of ranger lore, she wasn't destroyed until the Soul of the Dragon arc. Technically by Tommy, but not really. Tommy sent her to some type of, like, purgatory or something like that. And then that weird uh, guy with a blue face and spiky hair that was in the first season of Power Rangers that was summoned by Rita. I don't remember his name, but he's the one who kills uh, Scorpina. She also appeared in the uh, Power Rangers Hyper Force... Um, tabletop show where uh, Peter reprised his role as a Power Ranger and even Yoshi came back as a Power Ranger. I believe he played a uh, Time Force Ranger though. Who ended up becoming a Hyper Force Ranger. I'm not really into D&D stuff so I don't I didn't really pay attention all that much. So right now we're just upgrading Scorpina then we're gonna do uh, some uh, what do you call it? I'm gonna look at her in the uh, testing area. I don't know. I don't know what it's called. I don't remember. Congratulations! You reached level 11. Hooray! Don't care. Thank you, though. Training area! Let's go. Let's see what Scorpina can do. Oh yeah, I'm going up against a hero. Alright, that makes sense. Alright, Scorpion Tail. That looks cool. Scorpion's Rage. Totes missed. That's mean, Zed. Crescent Blade. Alright, that's not bad. Boom. Nice. Uh, 
<laughs> just throw Goldar at him. Be like, what's up, dude? Pumpkin rat. That's not very nice. Scorpion Sting. What other things do I have? Ruthless what? Slashes. Alright, that's pretty cool. Let's do Scorpion Tail and Scorpion's Rage. It worked alright. Scorpion's Rage again. And because she's an epic, she has a balance of blocking and some other stuff. Nice. Ow. Do I have Blue Centurion? I think I do. Pretty sure I have him. I don't really remember. Ouch. Oop. Okay. That's fun. You're writing me a citation? Oh, dude, come on. For reals. For reals. Alright, cool. So, uh, we're gonna bring in her assist, and we're also gonna look at her uh, taunts, and then we'll do some matches with you guys for a little bit. Stream will last until midnight, and then that's it. So I've got a lot of work ahead of me tonight. Alright, let's bring in her assist. Where are you at? Where are you at? Where are you at? Where are you at? Did I get any other assists besides Scorpina? I don't know. I kind of like her model more in this than in Battle for the Grid. This looks more like Scorpina from the show. Battle for the Grid kind of looks like the Boom Studios uh, version of Scorpina. And like, I don't know, maybe a little bit of the show. This looks more like uh, the original Sentai uniform. It's much, it's, it's a lot closer. The other one feels like it's inspired by Boom Studios. I actually don't have a picture to um, uh, compare and contrast, though. Actually, no, I kind of do. Yeah, I do. One sec. No. 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 What in the world is that? That's not it. Is it this? There we go, yeah. Yeah, it looks more like the show version. A little bit. A little bit. It does kind of look like the show. Uh-oh. Let me upgrade. What harm is there in letting me upgrade? Yeah, the armor's on the wrong side. Yeah. My name is Scorpina, I'm your worst nightmare. Insert laughter here. Cool. Alright. We got talent tree. This is just for the assist though. Whoops. I 
I love how my uh, touch phone doesn't always respond to my touch. I always find that kind of ironic. It's like, it's a touch phone, and yet... It can't tell. Um, let's keep Goldar. I'm gonna get rid of Pumpkin Wrapper. And, uh, can you guys hear me over the game? Just a simple yes is fine. So I'm a vampire. Punch phone. I can hear you. All right, great, thanks. Good to know. Oh, we couldn't fully upgrade Scorpina. All right, let's see what her taunts are. She has two taunts. First taunt. Actually, I'd like to see it like that. She says, she says weak. Yeah, she says weak. Taunt two. Uh. All right, seeing Scorpina dance is the weirdest thing ever. All right, let's do a few more training things, and then we'll jump into a couple um, custom matches, and yeah. Three, two, I don't like scorpions, they're creepy. Yeah. Dang. I do like that move. Ow! No! Oh, so Scorpina's assist is a, um, it's red. Ow. Oh. Okay, that's cool. I like that assist, actually. So that a red ability is a stun-based one? And she has a counter. Goldar's charge is so weird. Alright, let's see her assist again. Oh! Ow. That's a nice little follow-up there. Alright, now that he's stunned, bring in Scorpina. It makes sense that she has a move that can stun you because she's a scorpion. Although, did you know that she's actually based on uh, a Greek mythology vampire? At least the Super Sentai version, Lammy, uh, who is Scorpina in the Zoo Ranger. She is Lammy, which is a type of female vampire in Greece. Or Greek legend. Greek Greek mythology. And Goldar is supposed to be a... Um, I can... Mantador or something? Uh, a beast with the face of a lion. 
body of a monster and wings like a, a griffin or something. He's not necessarily made after the creatures from the Wizard of Oz. He does kind of look like one of uh, the flying monkeys from Wizard of Oz though, but he's not. And a uh, little, little random trivia for you, Bandora the Witch is supposed to be based after uh, Pandora. They, they just, you know, they, they were really clever with her name. Bandora, Pandora. She unleashes Calamity on the world. Bandora releases Calamity on the world. See, see how clever the uh, Japanese uh, Sentai people are? I never knew that. I was like, yeah, you know, her name does kind of rem uh, remind me of uh, Pandora. And it's like, oh yeah, the, they have a whole Greek mythology theme in that. No, they don't. Yes, they do. It's like, wow, I didn't know that. And now you guys know that worthless trivia. Yay! Oof! Okay, we're good. Alright, let's do some random matches. Uh, we are now 28 minutes into the stream. Almost. Yeah, about 28. So we'll do a couple random matches. If you guys want to play, uh, try to keep it to one match per person if that's cool. I know, isn't that weird? Okay, um, in my defense, I was so tired last night that the White Ranger versus Scorpina was supposed to go up. The Goldar versus Scorpina episode was supposed to be for Sunday. White Ranger and uh, Scorpina was supposed to be today. I even had the thumbnails all messed up. That's how tired I was. Um, at least I think I have the right ones up tomorrow, unless tomorrow is Scorpina versus, um, Trini, or Scorpina versus, uh, I don't know. Cool looking dragon. Very cool looking dragon. Whoops. Whoops. And Tommy kills Scorpina again. Sadness. Nice match. No trivia is useless. They call it useless trivia, though. That's just the nickname for it. Whoops. Wait, you have to restart because you got rid of, um... Seriously? It doesn't... It's supposed to save it to your, uh... Your Google account. You should be able to get your characters back. It's Google-based. Tommy's an Adam. Ow. Uh-oh. Oh, that's right. Yellow. Yellow breaks red.
All right, let's get into some more matches. Oh, unless you didn't sync your account. Ooh. It made you restart? Oh, I'm sorry. She said weak. Rude. <laughs> I know, right? Tell me about it. And guys, try to keep it a uh, one match, please. I'm appreciate that. That way, people can play if they want to. Had a very tense night. We had some type of uh, incident happen where somebody's house caught fire or something like that, possibly of uh, <clears throat> a certain dubious group in this area. It likes to protest a lot. Um, and we were asked to stay in our houses. It was down the road from us, but still, the fire engines like came roaring down our street during the Dark Tomorrow stream. Which was kind of fitting, you know, but also it was like really creepy. I was like, what? I mean, it seems like everything's calm now, but still, you won't even hear about it on the news. Because it doesn't fit the narrative. Ow. Nice. So I'm just kind of out of it. I guess all the adrenaline kind of uh, disappeared from that. Everything's back to being wicked quiet outside. Ugh. But I was thinking about checking my mail tonight because we have a package coming from some developer, but I'm not leaving my house tonight. I'm staying home. I'll check the mail tomorrow. Mm. Just why does all this crazy stuff keep happening? Scorpina has no strikes? Really? Wow. That's interesting. I didn't know that. Might get a Switch for Christmas? Awesome. Have fun. I'm sure you'll get Blazer Roxy eventually. Ben 10, what up? What up, Ben? Oh yeah, she doesn't have any strikes, you're right. Fighting character with a counter. So you would actually have to partner her up with characters with strikes then. How does one counter a counter? <laughs> I don't even know if I have any assists that have, um, let me see. So she has no strikes at all? Interesting. Uh, he's blue. Who's a character with a strike? Jason's red. She's blue. Are you yellow? Uh, I don't know what color you are. An epic defender. It's purple. So does it mean you're a striker? Guys, what's a um, strike assist besides Goldar? Hmm. 
No, there's no Overdrive characters either, no. Lord Draken is a strike? I don't know if I have Draken. Let me see. Do I have a Draken strike? Mm, yeah. Alright, let's try that. Night, dude. Have a good night. Thanks for hanging out. See you tomorrow. I have a Harvest Moon stream tomorrow. Did somebody seriously get timed out for saying Black Tommy? Why? I mean, technically, he is Black Tommy. He's Black Ranger Tommy. The correct term is Dino Thunder Black, though. That's if you want to get a appropriate Ranger lingo. Dino Thunder Black. Or Black Dino Thunder Ranger. That's right, strike. Do Oh, I see now. Oh dear. Oh. Very nice. Uh, what stream is coming up next? Tomorrow, you've got Knights of the Round. And then a Harvest Moon stream. I think. Supposed to be... Tomorrow's supposed to be the, the release of the... Um, our Kate Bishop series, but we had some problems with it, so <laughs> I'm gonna be a very grumpy, grumpy uh, K Wing tomorrow. Because I'm gonna be up after the stream ends and to uploading videos, I'm gonna be up for some time grinding in that stupid Avengers game. <sighs> but I'm psyched about Sephiroth. Like, I'm I'm so happy that Smash Brothers is coming back into the rotation. I love that game. I haven't been able to stop thinking about the new Smash Brothers character, and I'm so excited about the uh, 17th um, stream, like, uh, the um, Sakurai event. Because I have a feeling that either Sephiroth is going to be released on the 17th, or he's going to come out the next day on Friday. Oh, I see that's poison. It's 
So that one move is supposed to be poison based? Uh oh. No way! That's that's her windscreen, really? Yeah, didn't really live up to the hype. Thanks for the match, Sonic. We need more female rangers in the game? I think the female rangers is actually pretty balanced. Like, unlike Battle for the Grid, but... There's still a lot more fan favorite um, female rangers they can put in this, though. They don't have all the popular ones yet. I want some Omega love. Not just skins. I want I want Omega love. What up, Blackwing? How's it going, man? Pizza night. I think. I don't like Smash Brothers. <gasps> what? Hot take. Yeah, I'm curious. What female rangers would you like to see in the game? Let me know. Very, very curious. Uh, I mean, it was... She did okay, but we were both distracted, Blackwing. You can hear on the video... Um, for whatever reason, there was, like, some type of arson thing that happened down the road. And there was, like, possibly protests happening tonight. Which, I don't even know why there were any protests, but... Uh, got me. The fire engines, like, within 20 minutes into our stream came barreling down the street. And, uh, we had an officer come to our house and told us to stay home. So Amber was still pretty shaken up about that. Even once the stream was over, we weren't really able to record anything. But other than that, um, we're both doing fine. I was crazy enough and I went outside and the, uh, officer wasn't wearing a mask. So I stayed, like, near my door and, you know, I could hear what he was saying. But I didn't go up and talk to him because I don't want to get sick. It's just, it's been a crazy night. Uh, the fire engines left, like, around, oh, a little after 11 o'clock. Something like that. Insane. And it won't make the news. We, Amber and I are even betting it's not going to make the news. Like, you're going to only hear about it from us. Like, the only way people will know what's happening, they go and they watch the Dark Tomorrow stream, and then you can hear the fire engines and stuff. It's crazy. The first thing that I thought of, though, I wouldn't even think arson. What I thought it was, like, somebody's Christmas tree lights or something um, caught fire. But there was, like, seven fire engines. The most fire engines I've ever seen was at a parade. There were seven of them that came down, like, this really tiny road that we live on. It was insane. But we don't live that too far away from the police station, so maybe the police station was attacked. I don't know. Yeah, we're, we're safe. Yeah, she's very stressed. I mean, Dark Tomorrow will make you crazy already, and then we have that happen tonight. And she was just like, after the stream, she's like, we're cursed. It's like, we're not cursed. Go to sleep. <laughs> we're not cursed. Uh, we're cursed. It's okay, Amber. You did great. Go to sleep. I was kind of disappointed though. I was expecting to look outside and see like a flaming Santa. Because you know what happens when people's like Christmas lights explode? Like their whole like um, display usually catches fire. And there's so many, um, you know, Christmas lights around here. Ow, ow. Oh, 
Oh, that, that was a breaker. Ow. Hey, Power Ranger 82, stop playing. That's like your third time, dude. Let other people play. She said I was cursed! I know, well, I, I mean, uh, I've had a rough week. I've had to go into the doctor, they were checking for a neuropathy, and they're concerned about my jaw clicking, thinking it might be, like, some type of oral disease. So, like, I've, I've been having, like, an off week ever since Thursday, and then, you know, the whole fire incident tonight. So, yeah, she looks at me and she says, You're cursed! <laughs> I was like, what? No? I don't think so. Uh. But anyway, I want to hear about um, the female rangers that that person thinks aren't in the game. Like, what female rangers they wanted to see. Yeah, I know, that's what I was thinking, Sons of Gaming, but, you know. Um, one of the codes that the officers were talking about, though, it sounded like the arson code. It didn't sound like, you know, just random residential fire. Um, because, I mean, uh, the police officers were um, carrying, like, big weapons. Not, like, assault rifles or anything, but they had their shotguns out. Um, and it looked like one guy had a riot shield. And so that was... That was pretty intimidating. I'm thinking, did I pay my parking ticket? <laughs> what? What? Oh gosh, am I going to jail? And it's like, no, there's some crazy stuff going on. Crazy shenanigans tonight. Because people are not filled with the spirit of Christmas. <laughs> this is why Christmas music needs to start earlier. That's, that's, yeah. Have I met any of the Power Rangers cast? Yes. I've met some of the uh, cast from Power Rangers over the years. Not as many as I've wanted to meet, though. I've met some from uh, Mighty Morphin, Wild Force, uh, two from Time Force, uh, none from Dino Thunder, unless you count. No, I've never actually met JDF. I always dodge. I have not met JDF. Whenever JDF's at a convention, I'm on. I'm usually doing something else, so we just happen to not run into each other. I've met Austin St. John twice. Um, some people from the Nickelodeon shows, but I, I can't tell you the actors because I'm not sure. It was usually like for promotion of like some type of uh, Power Rangers video game that they were there. And I met some of the cast from Ninja Steel when they were doing that thing with Legacy Wars. And I've met some Dino Charge people, but uh, a lot of the other Power Rangers actors were like... I don't even remember what they were doing at some of these press events. But sometimes they'd have like one or two of them show up to help promote a Power Rangers video game. And you guys know I covered a lot of Power Ranger games back in the day uh, during my years as a journalist. So, game journal. Um... What was funny though is always talking to the Power Ranger like people and they wouldn't really know the game that they were promoting. I always found that funny. Yeah, I don't I don't want to stand in line. I've haven't met Mark Hamill or JDF. Um, JDF was I just missed him when he was at the Lionsgate booth that one year. And I was doing something with Capcom uh, at that time, so I can't tell you what game I was um, looking at because I don't remember. It might have been something Monster Hunter related, but it was so many years ago. So I don't know. I 
I have not met um, the actress who's played Kimberly either. Walter Jones, Austin St. John, David Yost, uh, David Felding, so the original Zordon, um, Kat, although I count her from Zeo. So Catherine, have not met Rocky, don't think I will, <laughs> unless he bumps into me, I, I just, nothing against the guy, he's Rocky, I, I just, I'm not a Rocky person. Um, I liked him in Zeo, that's about it. Um, I have not met Johnny Young Bosch yet, I want to. I've run into him a couple times. I've seen him, but I've never talked to him. Uh, he was at a couple anime cons that I had to cover. Because there was, like, indie games there one year. But his line was too big. His line was way too big. The only long line I've ever stayed in was for Kevin Conroy. The other ones I, I don't really care for. And Mark Hamill's line is usually, like, really big. Ow. Yeah, that's supposed to be poison. Darn it. Alright, so that counted as a counter. No! <laughs> um, I don't really have interest in Terra Strong, though. I don't... I mean, I know Terra Strong has, like, a massive line... Especially, I used to remember seeing how big her lines were, and I compared them one year to Mark Hamill's. Her line was bigger because she was doing stuff with that My Little Pony show, or whatever, I think. I might be wrong, but I thought she was in that. And it looked like her lines, they were huge in New York. That one year that, I swear she was in that My Little Pony show. I think she was. I'm just, I'm not a patient person. I don't, I don't like staying in line. Um, the Power Rangers actors were helping out with some Lionsgate and Boom Studio stuff. They were very easy to meet. Um, very nice people. Um, the OG Rangers also were working with Boom Studios one year. So I was able to meet them. I actually got to fight Austin St. John in uh, Power Rangers Legacy Wars promotion. That was fun. I thought I was going to beat him, but he, he beat me. I was so tongue-tied. Uh, when I met him the first time, that I said, I I make a living off your character. And he's like, what? I, I mean, I play your games for a living. He's like, Power Ranger games? Cool. And that was it. <laughs> I was so nervous the first time I met him. The second time I met him was for something, um, you know, Power Rangers video game wise. Um, and I, it was more comfortable speaking to him. Well, the first time I met him, I was just like one of those, you know, timid fans. It was bad. And Amber got it all on film, too. Um, when I, If you are able to crank up the audio after I shake hands with him, like, I I botched everything I was supposed to say to him. It was, it was hilarious. But I was mortified at the moment. Whoops. Yeah, Kevin Kevin was a, a sweetheart though in his line. He's a he's a nice old man. Um I still have yet to hang up his autographs because I, I've just been I don't know, this house is I don't like this house. I just, I don't feel like decorating it. I, I just, I live here, I work here. When I move again, I'm gonna go all out and make my next house look nicer, but... I mean, Shadow's ruined this house. Um, even though she's gone, she, like, messed up our carpets in the basement. The house smells terrible. Um, I just like to work and then go to sleep. And I don't really pay attention to anything in the house because it's, the smell is so bad. 
Um, I have a carpet company finally that's going to come into our house in January because they, they think everything's going to be fine in January. So they're going to come and clean the carpets in the basement, but I have to wait till January. <clears throat> Jonathan Snow, what up, my friend? Everybody has that skin but me. That's an epic skin. Ow. Oh no. Yeah, that's a poison move. That's kind of cool. Doof! Nice to see you, John. No! Meeting the Rangers was fun. It was, John. It was pretty cool. It has to be the best skin in the game. Is that a um? Is that a pay for skin, or is that one you have to run through the uh, corruption zone for? They need to have that skin in Battle for the Grid. That's the skin everybody wanted. Yeah, Rob Paulson's lines are uh, the Raphael actor. Yeah, he's really easy to meet. Which is surprising, considering how long he's been a voice actor. Like, his line's not that big. At all. Maybe after the whole Animaniacs thing, but... I mean, the show's been kind of a hit and miss. I've, I've watched... Five episodes of the new Animaniacs show, and my favorite parts of the show is Pinky and the Brain. Like, I... Mm, the new Animaniac stuff just... Uh, they said they were going to make fun of everybody like the 90s, but they're just making fun of one group, so it just gets kind of stale. It was more fun in the 90s when they like took pot shots at everybody. Like They're really only going after one group. So, you know, the Pinky and the Brain stuff is fantastic. Like... Uh, my favorite episode so far this year is the one where Brain makes his son, like, a robot. And then the robot becomes more smart, or smarter than Brain. And then Pinky is the one responsible for saving Brain. I, I thought that was an amazing episode. Um, there's no Goodfellas, though. I, you have to bring back the Goodfellas, but I guess they were, like, probably the stereotype is too offensive. But yet they have a lot of offensive jokes in Animaniacs now. So I don't, I don't really get it. Um, the, the, the Good Feathers was a great sketch. Um, and there were a couple other characters that are missing. I wish they would give us a Trini skin. I don't have a strike, but I do have a counter, kind of. Ow. Ow. I don't think I have that assist. Oh no. Huh. Yeah, that's because the 90s had way better. But I mean, I don't know. I guess I take people at their word. They said that, uh, you know, we're not going to be making fun of one political group over another in Animaniacs like they did in the 90s. And they're not. Um, they're also not really uh, doing a lot of world event stuff that they used to either. It's just all kind of contained um, in what's going on in America right now. Whereas before, they would make fun of other countries, and they do all kinds of stuff. So, the pinky and the brain stuff is international. I think that's why it's funnier. Because they're, 
you know, they're doing the time travel again. Um, they've had an episode in the 1950s. That have, they've had a medieval episode with a um, thespian dragon. It's just, it's really funny. I wish they would release a collection of the new Pinky and the Brain stuff on, like, DVD or something. That'd be great. Totally support that. Do I live in Arkham City? I'm starting to wonder. I thought I lived in Amish country, but I don't know. How do you spell Animaniacs? Uh, don't ask. It's it's a rather unique spelling. I will say this: the best part of Animaniacs, even though the episode was very sus um, so far, is there was a anime reference finally. So they finally made fun of anime, um, but they dropped the ball with uh, dots anime thing. She should have totally been Sailor Moon, and I guess they thought that her being Sailor Moon would be too... Mm, wouldn't coincide with a lot of the atmosphere socially, so they just made her like this generic schoolgirl, and they didn't make, it, make her a magical girl at all. So you had the Goku thing, and then I believe um, Wacko was supposed to be One Punch Man, or... Um, I'm trying to think who else it was. I think he was supposed to be Naruto, or like a character from Naruto. And then Wacko was supposed to be Goku. But Dot should have been Sailor Moon, or, or um, maybe like uh, Sakura, or something from like Card Captor Sakura, or something. So they, they dropped the ball on that. Hi, sweetheart, what's going on? You can't sleep? Amber, everything's okay now. You're still freaking out about it? Well... Okay, I don't know why you would be... I mean, everything's... Should be okay. I'll talk to you after the stream, okay? Are you sure? Because my stream's almost over. If, if you're... You okay? Yeah, I know. Well, I'm at the hour mark anyway. Alright guys, um, I'm gonna call it a night. I know you're you're going back to sleep, but I have other stuff I gotta do anyway. It's, you actually came out at a good time because it's the hour mark for me. Alright, so anyway people, that is gonna do it for Scorpina tonight. Um, I don't know. I'll find out later. But, um, yeah, that's Scorpina. Uh, I unlocked her after 12 minutes. Had fun playing with you guys. Shoutouts to my friend Jonathan. Nice to see you, man. Uh, also, thank you for showing that awesome skin. Is it... Oh, it's in... It's only eight days left to get it. Uh, I don't know. If, well, maybe I could do it. I really don't like the corruption zone thing, though. Really don't. Really don't like the corruption zone thing. I wish you could just pay for it. Just let me pay for it. Gosh. But yeah, um, you guys have a fantastic night. Thanks so much for hanging out. And uh, tomorrow is our Knights of the Round stream at uh, 8 o'clock. Because there is a Let's Play going up at 6 tomorrow. It's either going to be Immortals or it's going to be Avengers. Huh. <laughs> Yay. Um, and there's more Power Rangers versus tomorrow. Although probably won't be the Tommy episode because the, everybody's expecting the Tommy thing. So I'm probably going to post the other episode before Tommy and then Tommy will be Monday. Because everything got all messed up. But have a fantastic night. Stay safe, everybody. And uh, I will see you with streams tomorrow. Take care. Thanks for watching. Have a great night. Check out Scorpina out now in Power Rangers Legacy Wars and Battle for the Grid. Peace!